Hello, my name is Dr. Jamie, and today I'm going to tell you about the Veloci 400T for twin. It's the first ever true mosaic super plane. What I mean by that is 277 knots, the largest four-seater in its class, uh, factory fully built, under $800,000, nicely loaded. So let me get into a little bit about this plane and what it works and what it's going to do for you. But uh, it's a new category of aircraft that was just born, Mosaic just passed last summer. Uh, it's a new legal performance class where we can fully build the planes that fit into this category. And it's this plane is the first of its kind. It's a twin. Uh, it's uh, designed specifically for these new rules so that you can travel at 277 knots at 17,500 feet. If you want to climb up higher, you can go even faster. Uh, but that's usually where people go to with an oxygen mask and a cannula. So, uh, you know, if you compare this to other planes like turbines and you know, other twins that are doing 250, 300 knots, or even singles that are doing 250, 300 knots, you're looking at easily millions of dollars. There's just nothing else that touches it or competes with it. And the biggest reason why is because it's two uh, engines. So you get twice the power as all of the singles, and that's the, the basics of why uh, it does that. So now, under the new Mosaic rules, uh, two engines are actually allowed. Um, you get a true family business travel room. You don't have weight limits like under the old mosaic. Um, the biggest number that we had to meet is the stall speed. Uh, and we're pretty sure we can get to 61 knots with uh, flaps, dirty stall, uh, when we put some uh, vortex generators on the wing. Uh, if not, we can uh, simply add a canard on the front like we have on our eight person plane uh, that is experimental. And with that canard on the front, we are for sure going to be able to get under 61 knots uh, dirty stall speed. So uh, that's uh, the beauty of Mosaic. It also gives pilots a lot more freedom and also gives other manufacturers a lot more freedom. Uh, but we just happen to be at the right place at the right time with these uh, experimental pressurized twins uh, that we've been building and uh, the prototype building and and uh, being delivered uh, kits to people. And now with that Mosaic pass, we're able to just simply drop the pressurization, uh, put in only four seats in instead of six, and we've got the roomiest, fastest uh, plane out there that we can uh, fully build for you in its entirety. So uh, it's a turboprop uh, speed uh, with twin safety and LSA simplicity. So it really is uh, the best of all three worlds. And uh, just to give you some of the numbers, uh, 270 knot cruise at just under 18,000 feet. Uh, that'll be on 22 gallons. Oh, sorry, not 22. That's a typo. I'm going to have to go fix that later. But uh, that'll be on about uh, 32 gallons of hour, not 22, uh, of regular fuel or 100 LL, whatever you want to put in the engine, the engine will take. So um, if you want to go up even higher and put on some uh, masks over your face, uh, you can do that for 300 knots. If you are willing to spend a little bit more money and get the turbo pro version, uh, we can get you to 400 knots in the experimental plane running uh, Jet A fuel. Uh, in the experimental version, we can do a 6.7 uh, PSI uh, cabin pressure differential, and we can go over 1,800 uh, nautical miles, and we can do 1,500 nautical miles at high speed. Uh, we got an amazing climb rate, and even with one engine out, we still have a positive rate of climb. We still have some positive rudder authority uh, because of how, engine, how close the engines are, are situated to the fuselage and the uh, pusher configuration. Uh, we got over uh, 1,400 pounds of useful load. Uh, that's uh, fuel, adults, baggage, uh, more than what you're going to need for any four-person type plane. Uh, it's a 52-inch wide cabin, so it's actually wider than an SR-22. It's not quite as wide as a... Uh, a Piper Meridian, only one inch short though, so it's really good size on the inside of the plane. And uh, we're going to be getting it down to the 61 uh, knot stall speed dirty, and it takes off in a very short amount of runway and lands in about the same. So uh, the numbers are really just absolutely simple in the essence of we're making one of the world's first composite fast twin engine airplanes, right? Like if it's composite, just like Cirrus did 35 years ago, it's going to fly faster with the same engine. Well, ours is the real first composite twin with big engines, right? Velocity makes ones, but they limit it to small engines. And 
Um, Diamond makes one, but they put small engines on it, right? So there are a few composite twins, but nobody said, hey, let's put some big engines on them to make it go fast. And so that's what I'm doing. So uh, how much time does it actually save you when you're going 277 knots? Well, every single trip, you're going to be saving between 40 minutes to 90 minutes, depending on how far your trip is going, maybe even more, depending on how it's going. And when we just compare that to some of the other typical planes out there, uh, you know, that most people are flying, you see that very quickly we get much better speeds. Now, we're comparing the SR22 turbo speeds when you're actually at 25,000 feet. So if you're not flying at 25,000 feet, which is the max height of that plane, then you're going to save even more time, right? The DA62, same thing. The Baron, same thing. If you're flying it where most people fly it, those time saved each trip actually starts going up and up and up. So who is this plane really for? Well, you're a Cirrus owner and you want to go faster? That was me. That's the whole reason I built this plane. Had a turbo Cirrus 879CR Romeo and it wasn't fast enough. So I said, I'm going to make a faster plane. And that's what I did, right? You already got a twin, but you're tired of the older planes, the high maintenance costs, the certified costs of twins. Well, this is your step into a world where your yearly maintenance fees are only going to be thousands, a few thousand dollars versus tens of thousands of dollars, if not 50, 60,000 some years, right? Uh, so it's uh, for anybody who's time conscious, right? their time is worth more than uh, their money per se well you spend a little bit of money here on this plane and save a lot of time in flying right experimental builders uh, you can actually buy this kit as a kit and build it yourself if you want as well if you don't want us to fully factory build it for you right one of the first uh, high-speed twins that are out there uh, anybody who's really driven by safety, right? We got parachutes, we got uh, twin engines, uh, we got the safe glide, uh, emergency glide options from Dynan and Garmin, right? So we have all the things in there almost that anybody could ever ask for. And we're working at integrating our own uh, landing system that integrates with the safe glide and auto land uh, configuration, but then overrides it to actually help land the plane. So that's you know, a couple years off, but it's something that we're actually actively um, putting energy and time to with uh, software development. So the first steps are the automatic gear retraction, uh, extension, the flap automatic extension reduction, uh, the throttle automatic control, right? So we're starting to integrate all those together. And then we go into our own system to actually put them all together into the auto land. So if you're looking for speed, there is nothing even close uh, and you got to spend at least $3 million to get the same speed somewhere else unless you do an experimental plane. Uh, there's one uh, that's kind of like this in the speeds, uh, but you're looking at $1.8 million for it. So really, again, there's just absolutely nothing that really even comes close to this. So who am I? Uh, I'm Dr. Jamie. I'm the founder, president, and uh, right now I'm doing the sales. I used to be a holistic medical doctor and I literally quit because I got tired of people not wanting to change uh, their lives to be healthy. It drove me nuts. Absolutely nuts. So I said, you know what? I'm done. That was 2008. I started manufacturing and selling medical equipment. Uh, I got two FDA clearances on that and uh, I sold that company in 2021 and I said, hey, let's do something really stupid because I'm a big idiot and let's build an airplane, right? I had no idea whatsoever at all in the slightest how difficult it was to build an airplane, but I did it. Here I am uh, coming out the other side of all the struggle and heartache, uh, but made it happen. So, um, you know, if you want to compare this with other planes, the most common uh, turboprops that really have even similar speed is the Piper Malibu, uh, right? The 274 knots, 3 million. Uh, TBM 960s, 300 knots, 4.8 million, right? So uh, you really are getting turboprop speeds at a fraction of the price and a fraction of the maintenance. So you don't get the pressurization uh, like you would uh, with some of the other turbo props because this is an SLSA plane. But if you want to help do the build assist, we can get you into an experimental version uh, that has pressurization. So we did an actual calculation of what does it cost you per knot in an airplane. And this takes into account, there's a page on our website, but it takes into account the purchase price, it takes into account the maintenance, it takes into account the fuel burn, it takes into account everything that we use to come up with these numbers. And so no matter if you're going slow or if you're going fast, our plane has the least price per knot of speed of the airplane of any of the planes that are out there. And that's the, that the power and the beauty of this is for people who understand uh, the value of time, it really is the most economical option out there. And with our fully factory built SLSA options, you don't even have to come into the factory. We literally can deliver it to you flying, right? So 
Um, simple inspections, modern engines, uh, not a lot of money you need to stick into it. And with the composite structure, uh, it makes it super reliable, just like the Cirrus and the Vision Jet and the Boeing uh, 737 Dreamliner. That's the, one of the first commercial jets made out of composite material, carbon fiber and stuff. So it really is the future. It's where everyone's going. A lighter plane means a faster plane with the same power. It's, it's just simple math like that. All right. So um, we already talked a little bit about this, but we have all the different safety factors that you could possibly want, except for maybe idle land. But we're working on getting idle land with our own system uh, that's going to piggyback off of the Dynan or Garmin, either one, uh, to actually land the plane for people with the push of a button. So, again, that's a few years off, but you, right now we got the emergency glide, we got a parachute, we got a low stall speed, uh, we got two engines with positive rate of climb and rudder authority if one of the engines goes out. Uh, we got a, a yaw damper that if one of the engines goes out, it's automatically going to start um, hitting that rudder for you, uh, which you can obviously override, but uh, as much as it can to take out a lot of that turn that's going to start happening if one of the engines actually goes out. So lots of safety features uh, on top of safety features. So um, uh, here's the entire market in one chart. I'm not going to spend a lot of time reading this to you. Uh, but you can see, you know, that the numbers just all around are way better in everything, period. That is the beauty of Mosaic. And this is the exact reason why Piper and Malibu and Cesta and Cirrus and all the big certified guys, right? That's why none of them wanted this Mosaic to pass. And for 10 years, they were successfully able to stop it from passing. But you know what? It passed and it's here. And so now they're going to have to deal with and compete with people like me right in the same playing field and they can't charge millions of dollars just because they have exclusivity from the hundred million dollar entry tag from getting a certified plane that's the whole point of mosaic is to push aviation ahead rather than keep profits for legacy companies and that's why they fought it so long and that's why we now it finally actually did pass they're going to see and they're going to be hurting and they're going to be losing sales and they know it and that's okay because it benefits everyone but them which means you so what do you get well in our standard packages uh, we put dining in it you can upgrade the garment for a little bit more, but you get two touch screens, two radios, uh, engine monitoring, uh, you get autopilot servos, you get uh, the audio panel, the autopilot head, the GPS navigator. You know, all of that's included in our base prices of the systems. Uh, you get your custom paint schemes right now, right? It's pretty soon we're going to be having set uh, paint schemes, but right now uh, you actually get to choose the paint scheme you want, the one base color, two accents. If you want something more complicated, you can pay more and we can do that, uh, but that's all included in it. You get quality leather interior, uh, all right, two-toned, uh, double stitching if you want, uh, fully lined on the inside uh, with leather based on the inserts that we have. So and if you're at all interested, you can give me a call. You can come to the shop. You can see where we're at with uh, building the prototype. We should be flying early next year. I know I've said that for the last two years now. It's going to be a few months, but I'm finally learning what it actually takes to build an airplane. Uh, I've got more people uh, hired who are helping me. I've got more help coming in uh, who comes in and just helps me for free now because they want to see this thing fly too. Uh, um, and so anyway, it's moving forward great. And I really am actually looking forward to it being soon now. So uh, if you're interested, uh, you're going to get a bunch of different things that nobody else is getting. You're going to get upgrades in avionics. You're going to get training that's included in it. You're going to get your pricing guarantee. So no matter what happens in the future, you're going to be locked in for your price. Uh, you're going to get a one-year warranty. You're going to get priority delivery, right? So right now, I now have about uh, 25 people who have told me that I am for sure going to buy one of these planes once it flies, right? As long as the numbers are even close to what you're advertising, I'm going to buy. And they're going to be close because if you compare it to a Evolution, which is composite plane, same horsepower, same wetted area roughly, right? Same weight area. Well, it already proved all these numbers, right? So we're just coming in and having two engines instead of one, which means we have more thrust because uh, we have two propellers. So we should be able to get um, uh, roughly the same speed as them with the same power as them. Right, so it's math, and we may not be exactly right, but it's going to be close. And uh, the fifteen thousand dollars in upgrades. So if you're at all interested, uh, this is it. It's limited time. Uh, Mosaic is still no, uh, sorry, still new. The uh, market has not completely caught up yet, 
and prices are going to go up because this is these are introductory prices uh, right that that's one of the benefits of early adopters they get much better pricing as soon as the prototype flies you know you bet your bottom dollar that i'm going to be raising prices because my wait list is going to go up through the roof because not only do i have those 25 people who say they're going to buy for sure when i prove the numbers which i will i have over a thousand people on my mailing list saying hey when it flies i'm really interested why do i have that many people really interested in my plane because no one else makes anything like it for under three million dollars right the exception being evolution they make something similar to it for 1.8 million dollars but now you have to go build it yourself and to build a facility so uh, that's where we're at uh, what do i got available right now uh, i got spot number uh, 16 available and 26 available right one's a fifty thousand dollar deposit one is a twenty five thousand dollar deposit uh, the difference is you're just going to get it about a year later if you go with the later position. Uh, but those are the two spots that are available right now. I have I do those deposits on credit card so that you can protect so that you can protect yourself against fraud if you want as well. So even if I'm just full of complete hot air and I never do anything, which if you look, you'll see that I have been just slower than I expected. But if I am, you know what? Your money's still going to give you your credit, your money back up to 60 days beyond the delivery date of the contract. So at any point in the contract, it has money back guarantees. It has performance guarantees. It has your happiness guarantees, right? At final delivery, everything. And so if at any point that you don't like it, you ask for your money back and I don't give it back, you can always go to your credit card and say, hey, he didn't give it back. He said he was gonna, and they will, right? But again, that won't happen, but that is for people's peace of mind. Uh, since the prototype is not flying yet, it's one of the things that I do. So uh, is it possible uh, with these engines that are in there? It's a question that people always ask, can it really go this fast? Yeah, it can. Again, just look at the evolution, right? Uh, is the build times realistic? Uh, yeah, if you want to build it yourself, 1,500 hours, why? It's not a Lancia 4P with a 250-hour door build time, right? Our door is a simple construction that goes in and rolls up and over the top of the fuselage like a minivan rolls up and out along the side of the van, right? So it's fully pushed out by the pressurization if you do the experimental, uh, but in the SLSA, there's no uh, pressurization, so it just locks into place and it's easy like any other door, but... Uh, build times really are realistic. We're basing it on other planes, other parts, you know, how many parts there are, all that stuff. So uh, what about the weight targets? Uh, we're sure we're going to hit them uh, because uh, we're already pretty close. We know a lot of the mistakes we made where we added a bunch of weight, where we had to do additional layups and things like that. Uh, and so minus all those, we're going to be right about at the weight that we're expecting. Uh, but if the specs aren't met, if the weight isn't met, if the speed isn't wet, met, well, in your contract, it says that you get a refund, but we've got 688 computer simulations that say it's going to happen and a real world plane like the Evolution that's almost, you know, similar to us and all those specs doing all those numbers and weights and everything. So uh, we know we're going to be really close, right? That's how we know we're going to get the speed. Now, what if we never finish? 99% of all airplane companies never actually go into production and produce anything, right? Well, that's where the credit card comes in, but I am. If you haven't seen anything yet, you've seen that despite all of the setbacks and problems I've had with other people in this industry, not doing what they said they were going to do, I'm doing what I said I was gonna do as much as possible. Uh, the only difference is I'm late on a bunch of stuff because people were late to me and well, I didn't put in the contracts that if other people relate to me, that that extends my deadline. So uh, just doing the best I can now, but I'm making it good. I'm making it right with everyone who is uh, being um, uh, reasonable with me and letting me make it good. So um, it's going to happen. It's happening. And I'm almost there. So that's the beauty of the system, right? My past has shown that I just do what it takes to make it happen. That's the bottom line. 25 years as an entrepreneur, 25 years in two successful business with other exits. I just make it happen. Sometimes it's tough, but I do it. So if you're at all interested, uh, that's my email. That's my personal cell phone number. Text me, call me. Uh, that's the website all about the program. Come visit us in Whiteville, North Carolina if you want. We can also do a virtual and live tour of the shop. Uh, see all the aircraft that we have, what we're working on, what we're doing, um, all those good things. So if you're at all interested, uh, give me a call, send me a text, come visit us. Let's do a virtual tour and let's uh, get you into one of these spots of the uh, new twin mosaic planes that are going to be better than any other twin out there for anybody looking to go fast or uh, build twin time. So thanks. Make your day great.